Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. All of the computers are in use. B. Some people are working on their computers. C. They're cleaning the laboratory. D. Computers are piled up in the warehouse. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. Tables and chairs are arranged on the patio. B. The tables are all the same shape. C. Few of the tables are occupied. D. Some pictures are arranged on the tables. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. Cars are driving into the parking garage. B. A man is examining the car engine. C. A car hood has been left open. D. Cars are waiting to cross the tracks. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. He's removing the potted plants. B. He is riding a motor scooter through the park. C. He is taking his motorbike to the repair shop. D. He is pushing his motor scooter on the street. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. Some people are sipping from their cups. B. One of the men is pouring coffee into a cup. C. Some people are seated around the table. D. The chairs are piled up beside the entrance door. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. The boxes are stacked on top of one another. B. The cartons have fallen over. C. The man is pulling the cart into the building. D. The man is stepping over the boxes. Number seven. Look at the picture marked number seven in your test book. A. Some workers are resting in a cafeteria. B. The workers have removed their safety helmets. C. Each individual is holding a shovel. D. Construction materials have been loaded onto the truck. Number eight. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. The people are standing under an archway. B. The people are taking part in an outdoor exercise. C. The people are stretching in a gymnasium. D. The people are strolling along on the path. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. The man is ripping up the newspaper. B. The man is doing two things at once. C. The man is talking into the microphone. D. The man is pointing at the monitor. Number ten. Look at the picture marked number ten in your test book. A. Trees are being planted near the path. B. People are jogging along the track. C. There's a lamppost next to the path. D. A boat is floating on the water. Part two. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now listen to an example question. You will hear, "Where is the meeting room?" You will also hear, "A." 
to meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at two o'clock. The best response to the question "Where is the meeting room?" is choice B. It's the first room on the right, so B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin part two with question number eleven. Number eleven. When is your baby due? A. About a couple of pages long. B. Next month. C. On your survey. Number twelve. Would you prefer paper or plastic? A. From China. B. Don't mention it. C. Paper, please. Number thirteen. Do we have to pay the tuition for next semester? A. Yes, it's due on Monday. B. Yes, the salary was raised dramatically. C. No, I haven't gone to the reception. Number fourteen. Who sent you such a gorgeous dress? A. My mother did. B, you shouldn't have said so. C, for her birthday. Number fifteen. Why did you decide to move in? A, only a portion. B, there is an exercise facility for free. C, four days ago. Number sixteen. What should I put on when I go on a blind date? A. I'd suggest a skirt. B. A tie is good enough for a student to wear. C. Yes,、yeah, she's originally from Korea. Number seventeen. Didn't I call your name before? A. I miss her so much. B. No, I guess not. C. Yes, it's on your left. Number eighteen. Miss Basil is the head of the shoe company, isn't she? A. Yes, I trust her a lot. B. No, I don't think he will. C. Yes, she is the CEO. Number nineteen. Where did you go for your honeymoon? A. In the middle of winter. B. Thailand for seven days. C. With my mother-in-law. Number twenty. Should there be more safety measures on the plane? A. But there's no better place than a plane. B, I keep the money in the closet. C, yes, the safety regulations are written on the forms. Number twenty-one. How long have you been with Sears now? A, since I graduated from university. B, about four miles, I guess. C, I work twice a week. Number twenty-two. Isn't your grandmother coming to your house today? A. No, she phoned to call it off. B. On foot every time. C. On a spring break in Spain. Number twenty-three. How big is the seminar room? A. They're at the corner side. B, yes, it has several windows. C, I don't know exactly, so we'll have to check.
Number twenty-four. Who can give me a hand with a new computer? A. We can't afford to buy a new computer. B. Mr. Kim can go see and check it today. C. No, my hand is all dirty now. Number twenty-five. Is your term paper ready? A. We should hand it in today. B. About fifteen pages long. C. I am almost done with it. Number twenty-six. Excuse me. Is this subway to Chinatown? A. Absolutely, but you just missed one. B. About half an hour. C. I already feel better now. Number twenty-seven. Your house has an outstanding view, doesn't it? A. I was just curious. B. Yes, it was built in a nice area. C. I feel relieved he's recovered from the flu. Number twenty-eight. Why didn't anybody take this file to the director's office this morning? A. Certainly, that would be all right. B. This file will be finished by tomorrow. C. He was off today. Number twenty-nine. Where should I put the recharge pen? A. Put it on the desk. B. Whenever you have spare time. C. You sure can do it by yourself. Number thirty. The plumber will repair a kitchen sink today. A. No, I can't lift it. B. Good. Finally, I can wash the dishes. C. Some repairmen. Number thirty-one. How about proofreading his report first? A. I'll do it right away. B. Yes, I do. C. Not often. Number thirty-two. When is Ms. Cosney's resignation going to be officially declared? A. There's a fifty percent discount this time. B. I can't think of a better person than you. C. At the biannual meeting, I guess. Number thirty-three. Would you prefer to go there alone, or do you want me to join you? A. You can pass it on to your coworker. B. I will make a reservation for two. C. I talked on the phone with her the other day. Number thirty-four. Don't you think we should wait to find out from our government authority? A. It's right across from here. B. It's very light. C. Perhaps you are correct. Number thirty-five. How long will it take you to drive your own car? A. Three hours. B. Driving gives me headache. C. I'll have my own car on my birthday. Number thirty-six. Why didn't you have the repairman fix the office copier? A. I had a cup of coffee this morning. B. No, I'll bring those copies with me. C. He promised to come later today. Number thirty-seven. When will your son return from the military draft? A. About two of them. B. I've not been notified yet. 
C. They seem good enough. Number 38. Don't you want to go with us on the tour to Yosemite National Park? A. Yes, I'm crazy about her. B. No, you wear a business suit. C. I am sorry, but I have another appointment. Number 39. I can't believe people wait in a long line like this to buy groceries. A. About three inches long. B. Only when there is a sale. C. I'm sorry, but I had a minor incident. Number 40. How did you manage to make a last-minute reservation at such a famous concert? A. The promoter is one of my best friends. B. Well, I like the singer a lot since I was a little boy. C. The airline provides the first-class people with a bottle of wine for free. Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Now let us begin part three with question number 41. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Have you ordered the cakes for the holiday party on the 10th? Yes, five of them, and I've also requested ten dozen roses to be delivered that day. We're expecting a big turnout. I'm not sure if ten will be enough. What should I do then? Order more? But we've already used up all our budget. The boss won't be pleased with this. Number 41. How many cakes did the man order? Number 42. What is the woman saying will not be enough for that day? Number 43. What should they try to do? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Is that all at this time? Yes, Mr. Stevens, you are fine. Remember to exercise regularly and come back in six months for your next examination. And, Mr. Stevens, please make sure to reduce smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol. Please, not only for yourself, but also for your family. All right, Dr. Bothering. I will. I will. And make sure to schedule an appointment right now so I don't have to call to remind you so many times to make an appointment. Lastly, my name is Dr. Maria. Not Bothering. Number 44. Who is the man? Number 45. What does the woman tell Mr. Stevens to do? Number 46. Why did Mr. Stevens probably call her Dr. Bothering? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Hunty, I don't seem to have the airline and hotel receipts from your conference trip to Singapore. Well, I'm pretty sure that I included them with my reimbursement form. Have you looked in your mailbox? I put it in there. Yes, I have, but maybe I just missed it. Let me go look again. Please, I've spent lots of money in Singapore, so I'm broke right now. I really need that money. Number 47. What are the receipts for? Number 48. What is the woman trying to get? Number 49. What can you say about her financial situation?
Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Has the ship that contains the automobile accessories arrived at the dock yet? No. The accessories have reached the dock, but there's a delay at the loading dock, so they haven't left yet. You might want to go and check it out. Yeah, I'll head over there to see what's holding things up. Do you want to come with me? No. I'd rather stay here and watch a good soccer game. Number 50. Where will the women probably go? Number 51. What do you know from the conversation? Number 52. Why does the man refuse to go with a woman? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Molly, what time is our appointment with Bob Delaney on Tuesday? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to tell you about it earlier, but I forgot about it. He called yesterday and changed it to Wednesday 2 p.m. Will that be okay? Could you call him and ask if we can meet on Thursday? That would be better. Certainly, sir. Number 53. When were the men supposed to meet? Number 54. When does Bob Delaney want to meet? Number 55. Why is the woman feeling sorry? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Good evening. May I please see your ticket so I can direct you to your seat? Actually, I don't have my ticket yet. I purchased it over the phone and I couldn't find where I'm supposed to pick it up. The station is too big for me to search for anything. If you go to the box office just outside, you'll see three windows. The window labeled C is for picking up tickets. Oh, really? I actually went by there when I was trying to pick it up. Oh, God. Number 56. What will the woman probably do next? Number 57. Why does she not have her ticket yet? Number 58. Where is the ticket office located? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Mr. Ito. This is Rita Jones from Municipal Water calling to confirm a service appointment for tomorrow. Right, tomorrow at 9 a.m. By the way, will you need to come into the house because I won't be there? No, but we wanted to warn you that your water will be off for about three hours while we work. Okay, okay, that's fine. No one should need water after they take a shower. Number 59. Why is Ms. Jones calling Mr. Ito? Number 60. What does Mr. Ito ask to Ms. Jones? Number 61. Why is it okay for water to be off for three hours during the repair? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Do you think Ms. Park will approve Mr. Enrico's request to relocate to Sao Paulo? The human resources manager has to approve all relocation requests. However, Ms. Park is just the sales manager. Therefore, Mr. Enrico must request his relocation from the human resources manager. Really? I see. All right, I will let Mr. Enrico know about it. By the way, Do you know why he's requesting a relocation? They need his market research and language skills there. The regional director for Latin America really wants him. Number 62. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 
Who must approve Mr. Enrico's relocation? Number 64. Why is Mr. Enrico relocating? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Do you know why the meeting room door is locked? I'm expecting some clients soon. That's odd. It's never been locked before. I'll call the security guard to see if they have the key. Okay. I'll see if the supervisor has an extra one. Do you have the security guard's number to call? Yes. I call him like I call you every morning. Number 65. Why are the speakers surprised? Number 66. What do they decide to do? Number 67. How does she know the security guard's number? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. I've been thinking about asking Deborah Bradley to collaborate with us on the expansion proposal. That's an excellent idea, but don't you know she's being transferred to the Chicago office? What a shame. We could really use her expertise. I heard that she even received the Builder's Prize last year from the government. She's amazing. Yes, I know. I was actually at the ceremony. It will be a loss on our part to send her away. Number 68. What do they want Deborah Bradley to work with them for? Number 69. Why is Deborah Bradley unable to assist the team? Number 70. What do you know about Deborah Bradley? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following news report. Next week, Sammy Altener, the owner of the Lions football team and the CEO of Fine Attractions, is expected to announce the location for his proposed $15 million, 10,000-seat arena. There are four options for the sports arena location, including two in the downtown, he says. The purpose of the facility is to have a stadium that has been built for his football team, but to host large concerts. Construction should begin after two months. Number 86. Who is Sammy Alterner? Number 87. When will construction probably begin? Number 88. What kind of event will be held in the arena? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following talk. First, let me welcome you all to the new rental wing of Beach Towers. One of the best things about this building is the security. And of course, our fitness gym and swimming pool is another benefit. Right now, we have furnished one-bedroom spaces available on the 10th floor and larger suites on the 3rd and 12th floors. All have balconies where you can see the ocean and the sunsets, and they are just spectacular. Rentals are by the month, and they range from $800 to $1,400. Of course, we require personal references and a credit check for all prospective tenants. Shall we go ahead and look around at some more places? Number 89. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 90. What does the speaker say about Beach Tower Suites? Number 91. What will the speaker probably do next? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following introduction. 
Welcome to the concert hall of the Museum of Fine Arts under the opening of the fourth series of the Arts and History series. The series is an annual program featuring special exhibits, lectures, concerts, and films. Tonight, the museum is very pleased to host the world-renowned Chamber Music Society. In this, the first of a six-concert series, the Music Society will perform an all Beethoven concert. There will be refreshments sold during the twenty-minute intermission in the theater lobby. Enjoy the concert, everyone. Number ninety-two. What will take place tonight? Number ninety-three. How many concerts will the Music Society perform this year? Number ninety-four. What will happen during the break? Questions ninety-five through ninety-seven refer to the following news report. Representatives from Quick Auto Fix, the world's largest automobile parts company, met at the Parker Hotel tonight to begin a week-long company meeting. Employees came from around the world to attend the convention. The event, held once every two years, celebrated another year of success. Quick Auto Fix began as a small auto repair shop 30 years ago and has grown rapidly ever since. Number 95. What is the report about? Number 96. How often does the event take place? Number ninety-seven. Where is the event being held? Questions ninety-eight through one hundred refer to the following announcement. On behalf of the staff of the community center, I'd like to thank you for coming to our spring orientation. The center is open to all town residents who have paid the twenty-five dollar membership fee. This fee is waived for residents sixty and over. I'm pleased to inform all of you that our new schedule of films begins in March. Every Thursday night, we'll be showing a film in the auditorium at no extra charge to members. Use of the community center's swimming pool is also included in your membership. Anyone wishing to use the pool must sign a release form at the front desk. Number ninety-eight. According to the speaker, who will get a free membership at the center? Number ninety-nine. How often are films shown at the center? Number one hundred. What must swimmers do before using the pool?